So after watching the Atlanta CDL event last weekend, I decided to look into the M4 builds players we're using for the event and why they use them. So today we're going to look at the two main competitive M4 builds as well as how to adapt them for multiplayer. Alright, so this is the Ironside build. Um, to kick it off, we have the barrel. Now for the barrel, you can either use the Corvus Custom Marksman barrel or the stock M16 Grenadier barrel. Um, it, they're basically the same barrel, just one has uh, a higher mobility than the other one to be able to move um, faster between points and be able to aim in faster while providing the same amount of buffs. The M16 uh, barrel provides further range as well as accuracy, um, but the Corvus just gets the job done. I personally prefer the Corvus um, as the barrel. Uh, next we have the under barrel now they don't actually use anything that reduces aim down sight speed so they decide to go with the commando foregrip and the commando foregrip allows for recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability and this is really helpful for the horizontal recoil so when it shoots left to right rather than up and down and allows players to be able to maintain their target uh, next we have the rear grip, the stiffer uh, grip tape, of course, out of the three, the one that you'd want to use is the aim down sight and sprint to fire speed, as you'd be wanting to have quick reaction times when seeing enemies. The next is a must for all classes, and that is the sleight of hand perk. The reason for this is that since we aren't running an ammunition magazine, like a high ma ammunition magazine such as the 60 or 50 round, Mags, we have to reload all the time. And considering they're getting in quick engagements, they want to be able to reload their gun as fast as possible. Next, we have the no stock. This is what I was confused about: why they were able to run no stock, as well as be able to aim in so like so quick and have absolute laser beam accuracy. And that, and that is because they run the barrel with the stock and they cancel each other out. So you're able able to get the recoil as well as recoil stabilization aim down sight speed and as well as fast reload it's not really much of a second build but the second option you could go for is replacing the rear grip with an optic as the rear grip is only a minimal buff as you can see here it's only a minimal mobility buff compared to the no stock which is a huge mobility buff um, sacrificing the rear grip for an optic is the most viable option and um, the optics that I like to use are the the Cronin mini reflex the Viper reflex sight the GI mini reflex and the monocle reflex sight now to adjust this for multiplayer the best thing to do is to remove the under barrel and the rear grip and replace it with a mag as well as an optic you can go for the optic if you don't want to go for the optic and you feel like you're pretty confident, I suggest going for the Commando foregrip as it will give you more stabilization for recoil. The only downside to this is having to run a mag. The reason why it is a downside is because of the aim down sight speed is minimalized, but to run a 60 round mag is a lot more viable as you'll see in the clips shown after this um, of why it is viable. There are many situations that I get in where 30 bullets just is not enough to kill three enemies or four enemies at once because they keep spawning in front of you like on shipment and on rust. So I hope this Pro M4 guide helps a lot of you guys out as it did for me. The clip shown were across six games and all recorded in an hour so it really does show the playing power of this M4. If the video helps you please leave a like and to help me out press that subscribe button for more content and I'll see you in the next video.
the target. Hit them now. Move, move. 